And revolutionary versus evolutionary is just, we want it to be different than everyone else. Sandwich and salads, you know, Supas does sandwich and salads really good. People love that place. There is soup and salad and, and uh, Orem for a long time. But we wanted to do it a little bit differently. And I wanted everything, every single item to taste like it's the, it's the best bite they've ever had. And so me and my crew, we got together. We do a blind taste test. We had 18 kinds of bacon. And 15? That's good, it's 18. But, and we did a, a blind taste test of all the bacon because we wanted the best bacon. And to come to find out, it was 23 cents for each bacon, and it was the most expensive bacon that we tried. But it is what it is. It's, it, was, it was the best. We met with eight different bakers because I wanted a, a certain bread to be at my, at my store because this bread was in Chicago, and I really wanted that bread. Um, if you guys eat in our store, you'll see that we do a lot of our things organic and healthy. And when my wife and I were in Chicago for a month, we'd go around and we wanted to, every beef stand was just a, it was just a beef stand. It was like a hot dogs and Italian beef, kind of like a guy hangout. And there wasn't, there wasn't anything healthy, there weren't any salads. And so we're like, okay, what can we do to make this different than, than Chicago? How can we make it better? And luckily I have a wife that has a really healthy palate and I, I eat pretty healthy, so we're like, okay. And we went around, we saw one place, one place in Chicago had a salad, and it was just like a Subway iceberg salad. I'm not knocking iceberg, because it's my dad's favorite thing in the world, but it's like, iceberg is it's not super nutritional, and it's, there's nothing in it for you. So we went around and got some ideas, and we thought, okay, let's, let's make this different. Let's make the interiors at least cool for my wife and I. I don't know if it's cool for everyone else, but like, we're like, okay, we'll try to do something different. Um, so do the interior design, but also do the food, and hopefully they accommodate each other, and, and, and hope, hopefully it's a hit. You just don't know. Um, yeah, so the fear thing, and if you believe in it, you have to go for it. So whoever has an idea, I mean, there's still an idea I still have, and I still haven't seen it. Maybe one of you guys should try to do it. I, I hated sleeping on hot pillows when I was younger. So I always told my mom, I was going to invent a, pool, a pillow that you can cool, because your head always gets hot. So if you guys want to take that and run with it, go ahead, because I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, so just, I guess this is the, with the fast food chains. They all look the same. They all have kind of the same colors, and we just wanted to be different. And we wanted them to come in and not just have one great thing on the menu. You know, we wanted someone to come in the next day and be able to tell them about the next thing on the menu and, not be able to say, oh, well, the tri-tip steak sandwiches are most popular, just get that. But now we can say, there's, there's, uh, I don't know, I mean, well, there's one guy, I've been open for a year and a half, he's been there 300 times. One guy. Like, he's nuts, but, I mean, I couldn't do that. It's good, but I don't know if it's that good. You know, it's like, <laughs> three, and he gets the same thing every time. I don't know if you guys are paleo, like the paleo diet, and it's like big in CrossFit right now, and they don't eat a lot of dairy, so he gets the tri-tip stick salad with no cheese 300 times. He's over 300, that was a couple weeks ago. He keeps track. So, I mean, good for me, good, bad for him, but I, you know, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, and every once in a while, a Yelp review, someone will say, who uses Yelp? A lot of people. If you guys don't, you guys really should. It is the coolest, if, if you're ever in a different city, even if you're in Provo, like, I can tell you guys some places like 180 Tacos, Black Sheep, Tortilla Bar, um, what are some other ones? Oh, Mount West Burrito, that's been around a little bit. But this is a really good place to eat, but maybe not, not, you might not know about them because they're not a chain. But if you get on Yelp and you type in Provo, Utah, restaurants, the best rated Yelp, I mean, it's individuals that rate these restaurants or anything. Um, it could be a hardware store. And right now, we're the, the top in Utah County, which is really cool. And it's, uh, and you can be the top with one, one review and get a five star. But we have 123 reviews and we have four and a half stars. So it's pretty cool, but I've gotten one one star and I was, I lost so much sleep over this one star. And I, I, can't, I you know, you can message the, mess, message the person back. And I'm, and I'm, I'm nice about it. I'm like, hey, what happened? What was a bad experience? And then uh, if, they're, if they say, I'm like, but one guy's like, well, the quantities aren't big enough. 
I'm like, what do you compare that to? It's like, you know, if you want quantity, I mean, you can go with a lot of places. You know, you can go to McDonald's. But we try to infuse the quantity and the quality because I use certifying as beef. I mean, I use organic greens. Like, you're not going to be able to come in and get a $4 burger. It's, it's not possible. You could, but I'll lose money on every burger, and I wouldn't be around long. So it's like, you know, so you have to kind of find a happy medium. You have to know where, who your audience is, who your demographics are. I didn't know how well we were going to do here in Provo because we're in a college town. I remember how poor I was in college. But there's every once in a while you splurge a little bit and spend $10 instead of 5 for lunch. And that's who we are. Like, the average person sends about $10 a meal. For, you know, that's a, either a sandwich and a, a side or a sandwich and a drink. Or with our less expensive sandwich, you can get all three. But we're not going to get everyone in the door because some people can't appreciate that, and, and that's fine. But I even went to the point where I, I, I rewinded. I have security cameras in my store. I rewinded the cameras to see who the person was that came in and gave that Yelp review because I wanted to know what this person looked like so bad. <laughs> and I was going to put a picture of them at my store and say the, one, the only one star. But then I was like, okay, I better, I better stop there. <laughs> but, and luckily for us, it's, it's a lot easier to be successful in a restaurant business now than it was 10 years ago, um, mainly because of um, social media. I mean, I can't tell you how many times the picture of that, my cow in my store on the chalkboard has I've taken a picture of, if you, ever, if you guys have an Instagram, we're at Cubbies, C-U-B-B-Y-S, no apostrophe. And so many people take a picture of that cow in Instagram and say, hanging out at Cubbies. And a lot of times, they won't, they won't add us or they won't hashtag us. But I, I'll find it eventually because someone else will see it and they'll send it to me. And, but that's how we got known in the beginning. I know we have good food, but it's really easy, a lot easier with social media these days with Facebook and Foursquare and Instagram.